everyone, welcome to the restaurant show. And I have my good friend and fantastic executive chef of Frankie Bones, Luke Lyons. Hello. Hello, Orchid. Um, you know, last time I saw you, you were um, placing in the Iron Chef competition at the Bluffton Seafood Festival. That, you rocked it out, man. That was a lot of fun. It was. He did his. He did gnocchi. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about I it. I should have um, done that for the show. I know, right? No, but we, we are going to be talking meatballs, and these are your. Frankie's made meatballs, right? Yes, ma'am. One these of our signature huge. dishes. Yeah, oh, yeah about huge. six, eight ounces each. All right. Well, let's go to it. Let's jump in there. I know you have all of the ingredients here for it. So basically, what I have here is enough to do four meatballs. Okay. This is, um, I'd say, it's about ten ounces each. I have ground beef. Okay. Ground veal and fresh ground oh, pork. Oh, so it's at, it's three all different three. meats. It's this your is... classic meatball. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, you can do it with two of them, but it's just not the same. You don't it's, get the fla right. same fla flavor profile. Um, and there's is, different fat contents in each, right? Yes. So it really makes a this difference. This is what really makes the true yeah. Italian meatball for the most part. Okay. <laughs> so you have about four ounces of tomato sauce. Okay. You can use your favorite tomato sauce. We okay. can make ours in-house. Okay. Um, one egg. All right. About two ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. Again, you can use your favorite. Okay. And you're just put, and these are you're mixing all of these ingredients first. Yes. Always mixing the wet ingredients first. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. That gotcha. Way it's okay. Equally distributed. Throughout your not throwing it on top of the meat. Yes, otherwise you'll get mm. chunky and looks like not I need really to change it up a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so make sure you put all your wet ingredients first. Okay. I got cooked onion and garlic. Oh. I'd say it's about two tablespoons of onion and about a tablespoon of garlic cooked in olive oil. Not just raw. sweat it out. Yes, right. cook it first. That way you don't have the crunchiness inside of it. Gotcha. That okay, way. I love these tips, you guys. Make sure you're writing this down. That's a great, great yeah, because then you don't get that crunchy. Meat, mm -hmm. Meatball, like it's Whenever not you're gonna right. make something, you're gonna bake something, pre cook, you're gonna get a lot of flavor out of it. Right. And you're gonna have a good texture of it instead of having that crunchy. Yeah, raw. raw exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Great tip. About a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley to okay. add a little bit of freshness to it. Right. And about four ounces of panko breadcrumbs. And now we your use. last dry, dry ingredient that you need to do. I'm gonna do a touch in. of salt. Okay. Love about two it. pinches and a couple cracks of fresh black, cracked black pepper. Gotcha. I Great. like it fresh. Now I, lo I love it. So this is what you are mixing up first. Mm -hmm. And then we will mix in your pork, veal, and ground beef. Mm. Love it. Oh, and you guys do these every day. Yeah, oh our batches make gosh. about 100, and we oh sometimes gosh. have to do two batches a day. I love it, I love we it. We go through a couple hundred a day easily, especially the summertime. Oh yeah, well, and now this now this time of year, this is something that you can get on your appetizer menu mm -hmm. and as a dinner, and I'm gonna, I know as you're making those, I just wanna show this. That's a small food. portion. We what? also have a large portion. What? Yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> it gets bigger. That is fantastic. Now, you also have this, Thanksgiving is coming up around the corner. You guys do a huge Thanksgiving. Every year, yep. One year open. That's four years, we're open. We yeah. do to go. Okay. You can get the full family package with gotcha. a turkey or a prime rib. And you roast your turkeys. I and brine them for, uh, I start about a week ahead of time. I brine them first, then oh I dry, air dry them, then I roast them there is fresh a that process. day. Yeah, a definite process. And what do you get in your, um, in your Thanksgiving to go dinner? For the turkey dinner. You get the roasted turkey, mm -hmm. you get a choice of whipped potatoes or sweet potatoes, okay. green bean casserole, cornbread stuffing, all the, all homemade the classics. turkey gravy that oh I make homemade yeah. itself. Um, Absolutely. And bread and butter. Okay. You also get a salad or, or a soup with it as well. Perfect. So that is a true um, Frankie Bill's Thanksgiving dinner. But if you don't like turkey, this is this is my family would be like, we're in, Mom. You can actually upgrade to a prime rib. One of our signatures, again, is our prime yeah, rib, slow definitely. roasted. We actually cook the prime rib in the same piece of equipment we cook our meatballs in, which is a Wonder moist yeah. um, electric cabinet with a moist cooking method. It's yeah. called a CVAP. Okay. We actually do our meatballs in it. We Beautiful. do these low and slow oh my gosh. Look for at those, about you guys. <laughs> two hours at, at almost 160 degrees, so, I'd say. Right. So nice. they're slow, slow, and Love nice it. and tender when they come out. These are going to come out to be about eight ounces each. Beautiful. And we throw them in for about two hours. And then you this get is what the we finished have here. product. And then you have this beautiful spaghetti and meatballs. Yes. I love and that's it. that's homemade bolognese sauce, homemade tomato sauce, pasta's cooked fresh every day. Now I know that you're also offering, now not only are you doing Thanksgiving to go, because you're actually open at the restaurant too. Now tell me a little bit about the options. I know meatballs are on the appetizer. Yes. And so then we have a prefix menu for Thanksgiving okay. as well. Not the regular menu. Three courses. You get a super salad. You get a choice of one of about six or eight entrees, I right. believe. And you get a dessert, which are Homemade pecan pie, apple pie, it. pumpkin full, pie. It's a full, and what yeah. time are you, I mean, because this is a, it's a long day too, because noon it's to eight. noon to eight, and again, it is 
it is the set menu though. Yes. Is that correct? And actually, I know you have some different items on there. Like you have your, um, you actually have your spaghetti squash for yep. those of you who do not eat meat and and you know still want to enjoy that Thanksgiving dinner out. You're also doing. This is an option. Yes. On the on small it. upcharge for that. Yeah, a little smaller charge, but it's oh, so worth it. Sorry. That's, that's our true signature dish. That and the lobster mac and cheese, the coffee marinade ribeye. We take fresh ground coffee. And that's this here, we mix right? it with a little bit of brown sugar, uh, blackening seasoning, and um, you can don't give it all away. Don't give it all away. You yeah, can well, purchase it. You can purchase it. It's got all the ingredients on it. Just okay. doesn't say how much. Right. And then the only thing you need at home Are these to make items, the wet right? ingredient because we. Take our mix and we mix it exactly how the recipe is on here. Okay. And then we marinate it for twenty at least twenty four hours. So if you want before you get it. So maybe if you want to attempt this at home, maybe you're a really a great griller because there are a lot of great grillers out there. It's you're going to be marinating, and so you can actually purchase this at the store and treat your guests. Maybe it's not on Thanksgiving Day, but maybe sometime around the holidays. You just have to make sure you have these, and then you will hopefully end up with something very close to this. I'm pretty sure you'll do pretty skills, good at yeah, home. If you're a griller, you definitely, you're definitely going to be able to get a beautiful product. And again, they are open on Thanksgiving for both to-go orders and um, a set menu. And Chef, tell me, do I need reservations? I would highly recommend it and try and get in at least a week ahead of time. Yeah, we not fill up quick. Not a day or two. No, a week, I right? mean, we might be able to squeeze you in, but don't count on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're a big party because a lot of us have a lot of friends and family coming in for the holidays. And again, thank you so much, Chef. We always love all your tips. And remember, wet ingredients first, right? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And we'll be back in just a moment.